Hello everyone and welcome to another nature vlog, this time including a very special nighttime visitor that we found on our front porch last week. Forgive the low quality of the video, but this was someone I didn't want to get too close to or upset by accident. This little blur of fur is actually a skunk. We were on a late night walk and sitting down on the porch when I heard a noise and looked down to find a skunk almost walking across our feet. We ran for it and then turned around to keep watch, but it turns out that this little gal was just here for the cat food we leave out for the stray cats. I knew that leaving pet food can attract the wildlife, like raccoons for example, or possums, but this is the first time I have ever seen a skunk in person, so it was a really big surprise. Once we were able to get back inside, we looked up some of the skunk information, and it turns out that there are lots of different types of skunks. North America has five different species alone, including the classic striped skunk, the hooded skunk, the western and eastern spotted skunks, and the hognose skunk. We think this one, because it had an all-white back and an all-white tail, and it had a little white stripe down its nose, may have been a hooded skunk. Usually those are found further south along the southern states in Mexico, but this one seemed very at home munching on the cat food on our front porch here in North Carolina. And other than the few pictures and a little bit of video, we pretty much left it alone and it happily ate some cat food, drank some water, and then waddled off back into the night. But it was a really fun little surprise. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if this little skunk shows up again. And I will try to snag some better video if it does. So I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know if you have any skunk stories. I'm sure lots of us have different stories of family dogs being sprayed by skunks, for example. And just a quick little extra bit of information. We found out that there are only two natural predators of the skunk, one of which is the dog, the domesticated dog, which doesn't do a very good job of being a skunk predator because it tends to run away as soon as the skunk sprays. And the other of which is actually the horned owl because it is large enough, fast enough, and comes from above so that the skunk doesn't have time to spray in defense. But they're pretty confident, so I didn't really want to mess with the skunk. I wanted just to leave it be, and it was really fun to see it wander by. You never know what's going to show up in your own yard. We're not as separated from the wilderness as we like to think. So I hope you guys are keeping an eye on what might be outside of your windows, and I will see you back here next time. Bye-bye!